No idea what's going on. Like, just so little to go on here. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to The Shallow Proclamation with myself, Thomas, and... Me, Paul. And we are watching the final part of... Um, what's it called? Fish. The Underwater Menace. The Underwater Menace. <laughs> um, it's been good. It's been very good. Great sort of over-the-top pantomime villain... Uh, fish action with wire work and stuff. It's been good. But this one is a recon, isn't it? So, mm, And if it's anything like episode one's recon, it may be a tricky one for us, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Should we check it out? Do subscribe yeah. to the channel if you'd like to stay in the loop with these. Can't imagine why you would, but um, no, I'm joking. This is <laughs> We are delivering delicious content. Thank you. Taste, tasty morsels. Yeah, Can, will you be our 700th subscriber? That's Ooh. that's a question. Yeah. Um. Our 700th subscriber will s receive... Hello? 700th subscriber will receive a year's worth of fish. <laughs> if, year... if you happen to go out and purchase a year's worth of fish. Recently. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, fillet, fillet o' fish. <laughs> 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 the item on the McDonald's menu that no one goes for. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you've ever had the filet of fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so much motion in this intro. Emotion. <laughs> this, this really bothers me because why not just use the credits? At least use the credits. Yeah. Use the opening sequence. someone really phoned in this story <laughs> yeah what are you doing can you see that I can Kill this two men. oh man oh this is gonna be hard work isn't it Paul it is gonna be very hard work the thing is because we've just seen two great episodes it's you know it's right. primed us for disappointment now that we, we can do this we can do this we just gotta pay attention yeah if we don't stop Zaroff soon, we'll At least we can picture shot. the sets and things now. Come on, yeah. we must get him to safety. But then what? Ah, Hopefully, if this gets animated, they'll be able to oh, make something... You got my warning, well, I was going to say better than this. I mean, they're definitely better than this. <laughs> <laughs> to really capture it, at least. Yeah. I can't understand this decision they've made to just hang on this... These images for so long. Yeah, maybe it's all they have. Yeah, maybe. So the loose cannons, they're a bit creative, aren't they? And like, splice faces onto other images and stuff. And it looks a bit goofy, but it does kind of keep the pace up a bit. And at least you know who's talking and when, and like who's entered a room and stuff. Yeah. That's a good shot. Glad we got that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cut off. Oh, it all makes sense now. Sarah, who cares about him? Oh, Ooh, two and shots. another. <laughs> that vase is key. That's the main. That's been the most animated like part of the episode so far. <laughs> all we can do is to go on going up. Come on. We're picking up pace now. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is that I'm looking at there. Don't get too frenetic. Oh, well, that's all right. That's a nice oh, image. Oh, there we go. That explains a lot. That's incredible how much water they got in there. Mm. Doctor, what about Polly? No idea what's going on. Like, just, just so little to go on here. <laughs> what about Polly? What's happened to her? Like, just, she's there, mate. Like, what? I can hear the sea. Yeah. Mm. Well, they did some animation on that. 
sum up yeah. to remark. I'm very sorry, everybody, but I'm afraid that TARDIS is out of control! <laughs> And we still can't get the credits. Oh, fantastic. I feel like I got a real sense of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the the, the the frustrating thing is, I think it would be would have been a good episode. Yeah. It's I'd be interested to see well, I say interested, I'm not that interested to go and see what Loose Cannon did with it. Um, but the, surely, surely they, anyone could have done a better job than what has been released there. Just, it's such a poor attempt. It's like someone's just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's four, you know, oh, it's, it's, it's half four. We clock off at five. Come on, lad, look, we've got about 10 pictures here. It's like 0.01 0. 0. Yeah. frames per second. Just, just stick these ten photos in this order. Over the drag them so that they all make up the length of the episode. Should we try and make them like match up with, with the audio and what's going? Nah, don't worry about that. <laughs> nah, just don't bother. Should like, we add just... some movement to it? <laughs> oh no! What, what are you hang about, Gary? What are you suggest? Should, should we stick the? We just put the opening credits on. <laughs> don't bother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, laugh, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to work overtime, but but we've literally got the title sequence from every other episode. <laughs> oh no, mate, don't bother. <laughs> Doctor Who fans won't care. You know they're notoriously laid back about these kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took my highlight was that photo <laughs> of, <laughs> of the jug. Which one? The, the yeah, jug. I like the jug. Went straight for the jugular. Um, <laughs> I, th I think the the one where you saw Zara off from above, like with the water rising, you're mm. like this mad scientist who's become a victim of his own sort of doing. Mm. Um, that is what judgment is, isn't it? A handing over to it's the villain getting what he wants in a way. Mm. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, it was that was that was quite well done. Other than that, I think I think it was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think it's probably a, a a better story than the first and fourth episode reconstructions allow us to enjoy. Um, but yeah, you're right. two and three were good, weren't they? They were, and I think the the limited amount of photos we got in that last episode. Um, were on the whole, apart from just here's a jug, uh, excellent, <laughs> excellent images. So you know the temple being, like the the um, the statue in the temple being blown apart by the water, um, all the images of Zaroff, like in, like you say behind that kind of uh, the the grid and not being able to get out as the water rises, um, all looked excellent. It's just a shame it it doesn't really isn't. Yeah, it doesn't come across particularly in the material um, that they've they've put together. So um, yeah, well, so in a sense, I would. They tried. That is something I I think I probably could watch as an animation. Yeah, and I, maybe I would be prepared to watch it if it comes out as an animation because what we had was so sort of lackluster. I think in terms of what <laughs> what has been produced. Yeah, just it's very odd. Just an odd choice. <laughs> the vase. <laughs> We're like, oh great, you've got another one of you got you got two photos. Two of shots. This. You're like, oh thank goodness. <laughs> and they're like, that's that's three minutes of footage right there. <laughs> they saw that image and they were like, cool, we have enough to work with this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think as well, not only it needs it needs the narration, doesn't it? Because when there's so little to go on, it really could have done with someone. I mean, if there is, I think they said there was a, a 2005 release or so of like an audio release with Annika Wills doing a, a linking narration. And to be honest, you, you would have thought that given the the poor quality of the images there, they would have taken that and put it on the release. Um, yeah. 
and maybe it's maybe it's there as a bonus feature it might be but like it's not much good to us <laughs> you know kind of needs to be as part of the main episode because we found that we had that on one or two of the highlanders didn't we we had the linking mm, that that nice. maybe for the maybe for the, the the final three parts of the highlanders we had it didn't we yeah it does make a difference yeah you, you've been quite triggered by the recon today haven't you i'm just <laughs> you're not angry you're just disappointed no, I'm furious. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't get my head round. <laughs> I've said, I mean, I've said this, I'll just say the same thing. But, but like, you would never, I mean, if I handed that in, if I, if, if you said to me, Paul, could you, here's the audio. <laughs> could you do a reconstruction for us? If I handed that in, you'd be like, Paul, this is crap. <laughs> like, that's from me. Like if the BBC handed you that, you'd be like, "All right, is is it April? Is it first of April? Like, <laughs> what day is it? Are we having a last twenty seventh, actually." No, like, yeah. Is this is <laughs> you know? Are you trying to tell me that you 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 don't want to work here anymore? Like, what is it? You've just given up on the job? <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, the mind boggles. Maybe someone can shed some light on it. Maybe it's to do with the fact that it was maybe maybe because they were going to animate it, but it fell through. Yeah. So maybe that's the reason. Maybe it's a last minute thing. But it's still crap. It's, <laughs> it's like film is a series of images stitched together to create the illusion of movement. This was a series of images stitched together to create the illusion of no movement. <laughs> Nothing happening. I actually, at one point, I forgot what motion was. <laughs> You were like, uh, uh, you, have you just discovered that you're Quicksilver or something? And you've <laughs> yeah. <entered. laughs> yeah, everything slowed down around me. <laughs> oh, that is the that is a phenomenal scene, isn't it? In X Men Apocalypse. Yes, it's, it's amazing. It's so good. It's like the rest of the film isn't great, but they were like, this scene we're going to go all out. I'd <laughs> say it's up there with uh, the scene from episode three of the underwater menace with the fish people <laughs> i'd yeah. go as far as to say it might even be a little better <laughs> <laughs> yeah watching this recon was like seeing the quicksilver scene without any people in it <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> static yeah. yeah listening to that I was hoping the water would rise above my head <laughs> <laughs> and it would all end no wow I mean it this would, is it would get me before you you're I more feel... in land than I am <laughs> <laughs> I feel we're um we're, we're steering away quickly from our Doctor Who channel with a positive vibe <laughs> Yeah, are we being too harsh here? No, no. I mean, it, though, it wasn't that being, bad, Paul. We're being positive about the story. It's just this this release, the, this production they've given us for yeah. a home release is not up to par. <laughs> yeah, it's up to par. <laughs> <laughs> yes, probably Paul's best. par. Probably best for this version, those recons to sync without a trace. That would be. <laughs> oh, very the best, good. I think. Washed yes. away. Yeah. Anyway, Wash well. Wash our hands of those. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, do enjoy whatever you're doing this weekend, um, if it's the weekend when you're watching this. Uh, and by the time this is out, who knows? We may already be up to 700 subscribers. Yeah, that's true. Are we going to do something to celebrate, Paul? Like a little um, fondue? A little fondue. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so we'll be back with... Uh, we've got another story coming up. Uh, the moon base is next, so I'm looking forward to that. Nice, nice. Well, thanks, guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. It's like watching the recon. <laughs> this is just... Yeah, should we, should we release an episode of Shallow Proclamation done in the style?
just do that. <laughs> just, just do at the beginning. Just in, do it in the intro. Just freeze the intro. <laughs> oh no! I'll show you. This is the key shot that we would need to. Include. Oh dear. Dear, uh, dear me. Yeah. Well, there we go. Another one under the belt. You're right, we are pretty much halfway through.